at this stage where I think we mentally still sharp. Um, I think, especially against New Zealand and against Tonga, there's a lot of positives that could, could have taken out of the games. So for us, there's still an upward trend all the time, and we can learn every time. For our, every game, we learn a lot and we gain some experience. So that first win is still eluding us, but there's still games left. So we won't stop believing, stop um, fighting for that win until the tournament's finished. Uh, the guys are definitely disappointed with the loss. Um, I think the Tongan game was really <laughs> the, the Tongan game is definitely one of the games to be targeted um, to get a win, um, but it didn't go away. Uh, but like I said, we could take a lot of parts out of it. We played well for certain parts of the game. We let it slip um, at other stages. So we are taking all the positive out of it and learn from negative stuff. And you know, it's, like I said, it's still two games left. So we will f keep on fighting for the win, and the, the spirit in camp is good. As you can hear, next door is singing for um, Daryl Daryl Harper, that's his birthday today. So the spirit in the camp is good, the, the spirits are up. So yeah, we'll we keep on fighting, keep on working hard to get that win. Great. And uh, Rod, what's the bit about the support you're receiving from Patron? I must say, it's great. Um, after every game, every every day, actually, um, receiving messages from people back home, just saying how proud they are of the players and the guys and the way they they're performing. So the the, the support is is immense, um, and we have to say thank you to all those people back home to giving us that support. Uh, it's for the first game, there wasn't any European jerseys left in Vintuk, um, so that just gives you a clear indication of how the people are supporting the team, and I think that's something that changed around a lot during. I think this past six months, I would say, um, coming off a successful tour back home or test series back home, and now playing some decent rugby over here, I think the, pers the people's perception of changing about Namibia and the, the, the way we're playing also give people a reason to be proud of the team. Um, for me, I've, I've, for me, I felt it was time. Um, my wife got pregnant, and um, now a little baby boy on, on the way, and I was made it a bit, bit difficult to, to travel. So, um, and I, I've been to France before, played there, had a stint there over there. So, for me, it was, it was the right for Bordeaux. Yeah. So I played some top 14 there and played um, in an Amman Challenge and stuff like that. So I've, I just felt the timing was right for me. And like I said, I got a decent opportunity with Namibia Breweries. That's a great company. So for me, it was, you know, it was the right thing to do at that time. So is it tough um, stepping up to this level? You're not being any professional. I think for my, I think for myself, it, it's still okay because I'm, if I can say, I'm still fresh out of the professional setup. So for me, it was alright. Um, I'll probably have a different story after a year's time. Um, but for now it was still alright, but I must say for, it was the first time that I got a first hand experience of what it's like, because um, normally we will, the outside players are going to Fintuk for a training camp, um, and we'll be there, but the, the other people that's working need to go to work, train in the morning, go to work, and then after work, 5 o'clock, rush from work to be back at training, so um, for me, I've got, for the first time I got that first hand experience of what it's like, and um, it's not easy. So you, you gain a lot of respect for those people, the, the players that has been going through that since since the qualifiers four years ago. You had two days off now. Uh, did you any sightseeing, or what, what did you guys do during the two days that you had? Um, we we actually being in Plymouth is a very nice place, but um, we've been on sightseeing um, one day previously, so we pretty much saw everything that that's worthy of seeing. So we just took it easy yesterday. Um, uh, just a relaxed day, just get everything straight for um, yeah, for this. We have about three, three or four days left before um, our next game. So yeah, just made sure we are rested and ready. Will you be watching Georges' game? <laughs> we'll definitely be watching that game, yeah.
Yeah, I, I guess. Do you feel that sort of idea of respect that they're saying they're best for you? Pragmatic decision, obviously, they want to be first to go. I think, I think Georgia also, they are giving themselves a shot um, to end as high as possible on the log. Um, obviously, they would feel um, they they would target us. So they're saving a lot of guys. Uh, from from the match day lineup, you can see that they're saving a lot of guys um, to play against us. Um, no, maybe maybe it's a sign of respect. Maybe it's just a sign of um, how bad they also don't want to lose against us. Yeah. So, yeah, but we will definitely watch that game closely.